tendency to try and make them paper thin, but that's wrong. If they're too thin, you won't be able to flip them and they'll fall apart when you try to eat them. You really want the batter to be just opaque when you spread it all around the pan, which I'm gonna do right now. So after you've made a nice opaque layer of batter on the bottom of the pan, you wanna keep an eye on the crepe so that you know when it's time to flip it. First, you'll see little bubbles appear in the center of the crepe, and that's a good sign. It means that your pan is hot enough. You can see it's getting kind of brown around the edges, and the top is no longer completely liquid. So that means it's about time to flip. Be decisive. Crepes can smell fear. Lift it up and give it a peek. It should be opaque and just a little bit brown. Voila. This to you and you wrap it firmly over the fillings. Make sure it's firm, you have to be decisive here. Then. So now the real trick is in the swirling. So I'm gonna show you the proper amount of swirling on 